sit back and enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Admin J Valdez, aka Fela Fela. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I do reverb and in my opinion what works best for me. If you guys haven't subscribed to the QMP Records channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and hit that like button, guys. And as always, sit back and enjoy the show. Let's get into it. So before we get into it, what is reverb? Reverb is when sound or signal bounces off different objects and reflections build up. In other words, giving it a different sound, different effect, sounding like a clap is in a big room or a smaller room, or maybe just real tight in a tight little corner. Anything that enhances the sound or makes the sound fuller. Let's get into it. So what I wanted to do was start with um, the drums, the first pattern. So we'll pull that up and let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so I can see that the clap or the snare has a little reverb on it already. So we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch with that. So let's hear what this sounds like. Let's hear what this sounds like uh, without the reverb. play the quick song just to get a feel for it see what it sounds like so in this instance I don't want to put too much reverb on on the snare so let's play the pattern with the drums again we're gonna locate where the snare is on the mixer and we're just gonna open up a new slot right here and click down on the menu on the left hand side and we're gonna find a nice reverb I like using reverb 2 from Fruity Loops um, it's one of my go-to's any anytime I do reverb I really like it it's uh, easy to use and it's something that I always go to so it's really familiar for me. So we have the snare here, we have the reverb here. And what I like to do is I like to play it how it is on the preset just to see what it sounds like. And I can already tell that's too much, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down all the way, right? This is where I like to start. Bring this down halfway. And I'm gonna bring this this knob here so the dry halfway the wet all the way down and I'm gonna bring where it says size maybe to like a little bit past 50% so we'll say like 60% not 75 right and that's what that's doing is increasing the size of the room as you can tell here on the left hand side that's the room size so if you want a tighter tighter reverb you you change the size all the way down that's gonna give you a tighter reverb and if you change the size to 50%, a bigger room, and then 100%, that's the biggest it goes. But I like to do 50% and then 60% right here. That's where I feel good at right there. Especially for trap hip hop tracks. I don't want to overdo it with the reverb. Unless it's some type of R&B song and then that's when I change it. But this is what it's going to sound like. And again, I'm just listening to it and then I'm adjusting it as it goes. 
side got dramatically lower. Now we're just increasing the width. Let's bring the, the kick down so you guys can hear that a little bit. So we'll bring this, this kick down. All right, so that's pretty good right there. Uh, let's bring this up just a little bit, the dry. That's pretty good. I still think it's too much for me. We're gonna bring the dry up just a little bit, not to 100%, but maybe to like 80%. And then bring this just a touch. And I know it doesn't make much of a difference, but it's there. You can actually hear it. And it's not too much, you know. If you feel like you want more, you can always bring up the dry. Make it sound a little louder. Or the wet, bring it up. That's too much. So I like to do just a little bit. Just the size of the room. So this is before. And you guys can, can hear the difference already. It sounds very dry, very, very muddy on the snare. Very flat. So now if we add the reverb, so we're gonna unmute it again. And now we play with the reverb that we just added to the snare, and this is what it's gonna sound like. So again, it's very subtle, but it does so much. We're gonna go ahead and bring the kick back up and play it at normal volume for that pattern and see what it sounds like. Okay, so that sounds good. And we're gonna go ahead and just play it um, on the beat. So let's go, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that with the beat. So let's go ahead and play it with the beat now. From the beginning and then when it drops. Sit back and enjoy the show. back to the pattern play that one more time we're gonna mute the 808 just because it's gonna be so loud go back to the mixer and go back to the mixer and we're also gonna mute those vocals as well and so that's pretty much how I do the reverb, guys. And I really hope that this helped you guys out a lot. So, uh, so that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you guys learned anything, got any value from this video, make sure you guys smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of the newest videos coming up. Again, in my opinion, this is the best way to do reverb for hip-hop trap snares. Always remember that a little bit goes such a long way, guys. Thanks again for watching, and as always, Sit back and enjoy the show. Peace out. Sit back and enjoy the show.